I'm testing an interesting new product to see if I'm going to sell it or not and it's called Vitabath. Now this is the Vitabath box. Basically it's got five canisters in it and each canister has 20 tablets and each tablet is added to the bath to I suppose you could add a couple of tablets to the bath if you wanted to and it will change the pH of the bath water a little bit depending on how many tablets you add to the bath. Now your skin likes a lower pH and in St. Louis we have a high pH so I was going to experiment with this. I like to take baths and I was going to see if it changed the way my skin felt to take baths with this. Now another thing that this does it lowers the pH of the water but it also will combine with the chlorine any free chlorine that's in the water and turn it into harmless chloride so that's that's actually a really good benefit because the chlorine is bad for your skin and, and it dries out your skin as well alright now St. Louis water I said was high pH and there it is this is just from the tap 9.4 pH now I've also checked the ORP which is your oxidation reduction potential and it's pretty much uh, typical of tap water 278 now I, I don't know why I'm testing ORP other than just I, I really just don't know but I'm doing it anyway alright now here's with the Vita bath added to the water and I'm just going to let it settle a little and show you. It's it's lowered the pH a little bit. Uh, I, ta I take really tall baths so maybe next time I should add um, a couple of tablets to the bath water. It did lower the pH a little bit so now it's down to 9 which is still high so I might consider using two tablets for each bath next time and maybe I'll test that as well. Alright, and the ORP reduced a little bit to 262 which is, you know, usually when the pH goes down the ORP goes up so it's probably a good indication of a little bit more healthy water to have the pH go down and ORP go down as well. Um, Alright, now this is with the shampoo and soap and everything added to it. Let's see what happens to this. That's odd. Uh, so the the uh, pH went down to 8.9. I, I really would have predicted that it would have gone up a little. And then the ORP also went down a little bit, 250. Um, let me just try that again. It seems a little odd. Sometimes this pH meter gets a little stuck and I have to just unstick it, but but this looks a little bit, you know, I mean, it, it was not, I said it was 9, it is 9, and then now here I said it was 8.9 and it is 8.9. So I guess adding the soap and shampoo and whatnot, I, I do use conditioner, so maybe that reduced it a little bit. Anyway, um, it is just, uh, you know, that's that's added into a full bath one tablet. Next time I'm going to try two because that I think would make a little bit more difference. I like the fact that it reduced it some, but I, I'm thinking I would want it to be reduced more than that. Alright, now I'm just going to show you tap water with the, or you know, I, I don't really need a new cup of tap water. I've got tap water here. And I'm going to just dip the, the um, Vita bath in it and I'm not going to let it fully dissolve because this is just a small sample. But I'm just going to dip it in here and show you it actually is fizzing. So it's basically vitamin C in this tablet. All right, that's all I'm going to do is just dip it a little bit and I guess I'll just save that tablet, still good. All right, now what I'm going to do is just test this water that's been dipped a little bit 
and see if it made any, and it did. It made significant changes to the water. So this, this product is capable of making this much change. 6 pH uh, is, is really so nice for your skin. Your body, inside your body, needs a high pH, like 9 or 10. But your, your, your skin needs this pH, like about 5.9 or 6. This is perfect for your skin because too high of a pH, and I'm gonna, it looks like it's settling down a little bit, so I'm going to even let it settle some more. And uh, like a 5.6 pH. That is really, really good for your skin because what happens with your skin is a high pH opens up the pores and the ORP is also reducing some, which is very interesting. It's almost the opposite of, uh, like I said before, it's, it's a kind of a difficult concept to realize that when pH goes up, usually the ORP goes more negative. And here the pH went down, the ORP went more negative. Like it was a positive 250 or something and now it's a positive 132. It reduced the ORP, which is unusual. Anyway, when the pH goes down, that that's all I'm going to say about that. I'll explain it a little bit more in my blog, but you know, it's not that important. The pH is the most important thing. the The fact of this makes me want to really try two tablets now in the bath, because that might make a big difference to the way my skin feels. If you're, that I was saying just a second ago that the the um, higher pH will open up your pores and you don't want that. Your hair also has a form of pores. It's not called pores, it's called cuticles. You don't want that either. Your, your hair cuticles should remain shut and that keeps the oil in your hair and keeps it from dissipating out. And, uh, and actually if the oil dissipates out it tends to make dust and things collect to your hair and, the, and your hair will feel dirtier faster. Now if your cuticles of your hair, and I'll put pictures on the, on the blog post, so look for the blog post that goes with this video. If, if the cuticles of your hair remain shut, your hair will also look shinier because when light hits your hair and the cuticles are open, the light gets absorbed by the hair. If the cuticles of the hair are shut, your, the light will bounce off the hair, making it have a glow. So the, you, if you've ever noticed, sometimes people have shiny hair, some people have very dull hair, and shiny looks better. And so that's, uh, that's one thing, is the hair. The other thing is the skin. You want those pores to remain shut. Uh, your skin is, interestingly enough, an organ in your body and it's part of your immune system and your skin pores remaining shut is important to your body's immune system and if you ever notice some people get more rashes than other people some people get their skin dried out more than other people why probably those people whose skin dries out or gets rashes would benefit from this vitamin uh, Vita bath uh, tablet because if you can keep the pH of your bath water down at 5.5 that's going to be wonderful your pores it will shut your pores and uh, will, will assist your skin to keep the oils inside where it belongs and to uh, remain intact with your immune system and not not let funguses and it just various things that allergens in the air and things like that to get into the pores okay well I'll say more about this on the blog post and I also will do another video with uh, the next time I take a bath actually I'm going to put two tablets in and see what that does thank you